Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you have internet connectivity problems on your Windows computer. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 operating systems. So if you're noticing you're having connectivity problems, so whether you have a yellow triangle or perhaps a red X over your Wi-Fi symbol, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Control Panel. Best match to go back with Control Panel right above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to large icons and then select Network and Sharing Center on the left side. Underneath Internet, you want to select whatever is in this hyperlink here. So go ahead and just left click on that. And then select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, and in parentheses it should say TCP slash IPv4, and then select the Properties button. You want to make sure Obtain an IP address automatically, as well as Obtain DNS server address automatically are both selected here, and then go ahead and left click on OK. Select Close, and close that here as well. So hopefully I would have been able to address your problem. If not, another thing you try would be to open up the Start menu, type in CMD, Best match to come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you are prompted with a user account control window as you see here, go ahead and left click on yes. Now I'm going to have two commands in the script for my video if you guys are more comfortable copying them and then going and pasting them into the command prompt, you're more than welcome to. They're pretty short so I'm just going to type them in manually. So the first one is going to be ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that. Should come back with successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Next command you want to run is netsh space winsock, so w-i-n-s-o-c-k space reset. Again, exactly as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that. You will have to restart your computer, so I would advise you close out of any open programs and applications, restart your computer, and hopefully it would have been able to resolve the problem. If you're still experiencing problems, you can go run a troubleshooting utility. So if you opened up the start menu on Windows 10, just type in troubleshoot. You would see similar options in the control panel settings on Windows 7 and Windows 8 as well. But we're going to use the built-in utility in Windows 10. looks a little different than the predecessor versions. So we're going to go select the Troubleshoot Settings button. Underneath Get Up and Running, select Internet Connections, find and fix problems of connecting to the Internet or to websites, and then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. So try selecting Troubleshoot My Connection to the Internet. So maybe you would be able to identify the problem if you had one. Another thing you can try if you close out of there, open up the start menu, type in network reset. One of the best matches should come back with network reset. Go ahead and left click on that. So this will remove then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches. So you will have to have your Wi-Fi password handy. So when you reset this and restart your device, you will have to enter in your password again, so just keep that in mind. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. So you will need to restart your computer after this, so it will automatically sign you out within five minutes. I recommend you guys close out of everything because it will sign you out regardless. So just keep that in mind. Do it by able to help you guys out. So restart your computer, and that should be about it. So thanks for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.